Right, this is the A grade material on surds. First thing I'm going to do here is rationalise the denominator. What this means is my denominator, the bottom, has to end up being a whole number. Okay, It has to be rational. Now a surd is irrational in this case because I can't simplify it. So the only way to make this rational, the only way to make root 7 rational is to multiply it by root 7. If you do that you're just going to get 7. Okay, so I'm going to do that to top and bottom Okay, for equivalent fractions. So at the top I'm going to have three lots of root 7 and on the bottom I'm going to have root 7 lots of root 7 which is equal to 7. Okay, that there is my answer. There's nothing else to do there. It looks complicated. It's actually more complicated than what you had before but that wasn't the purpose to simplify it. It was to rationalise the denominator and you've done that. You've got a rational number on the bottom. Okay, here I want to simplify the third. Now to simplify the third, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for any square number factors in there. I've got one square number factor and that's 25 is a square number. Okay, and that 25 multiplied by 2 will give me 50. I'm always looking for a square number factor because once I've got a square number factor, I can take it out of the third and as it crosses this square root boundary there, it has to be square rooted. Okay, so what happens is the 25 comes out and that becomes a 5. The square root of 25 is 5 and then you're left with whatever you had in the third with it, which in this case was 2. So that is 5 lots of the root of 2. The other thing they can ask you to do is convert a simplified third into just a number which is a third. Okay, that means it means nothing on the outside of the third there. Okay, if you think about what we've done there, the square number came out and was square rooted. So if I've got a number on the outside, to get the 5 back in, I'd have to square it to make 25. So here I just do the same thing. I've got my 5 inside of my root. Okay, and if I want that 3 to go back in, then I've got to square it. Okay, so that's the root of 9 times 5, which equals the root of 45. Okay, now looking backwards, if I was to simplify the root of 45, I'd look for a square number factor, 9 times 5, 9 is the square number, and then that would be taken out and square rooted, in which case you get 3 lots of root 5, and it works both ways.